we are in Chandni Chowk. Dare I ask first impressions? It's crazy, it's yeah. frenetic, it's noisy, it's busy, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very, very hot. Yeah? very exciting. Yeah? Very exciting. Is, is this, I mean, it's a sort of as far removed from Ireland as it's possible for a scene to get, right? Yes. Um, have you been having fun? Um, what has sort of been your agenda since you got here? It has just been amazing. It's been really interesting. I've yeah. been here with the charity Go. Right. Um, they set up 37 years ago and they've yeah. been working with Kolkata, actually, yeah. since then, um, helping to feed and train people to support themselves right. and their families. And so I've been working with the charity nice. actually and going to some of their projects. That's wonderful. And getting to hopefully eat some lovely food. I think so. I think we're here. This is our first stop. This is the Shiv Mishtan Bandar. It will be sweet and there will be savory. You brought an appetite, right? Yes, I did. And it's a good thing too. You see, Shiv Mishtan Bandar is the kind of place where there's always something cooking. And yes, something of the distinctly greasy variety. With that sizzling and counters brimming, Rachel wanted a look see before we even got started. So, like when you come here, travel to different places, is a lot of what you do potential research for integrations and things like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. I'm always, always inspired. I'm yeah. never not excited about yeah. seeing some of the food, tasting yeah. some of it. Never not. Oh, right. look. So, what's he cooking? He's cooking, it's called a puri. Oh, this is puri bread. This is the puri, puri bread, bread, yes. Puri. And it's, as you can see, we, you know, calorie concerns are huge here. Yeah. <laughs> And so as the Birmese get ready, first up a portion of Suji Halwa, that breakfast of champions. This is I halwa. Love halwa. Oh, very good. I made it for the first time. Oh, you recently? Yes, and? And um, it, not like this. Well, this is semolina. And well, this I'm is quite different them. to the halwa that I've had in, say, Turkey. Turkey and yeah. Very different, but sem I love semolina. Yeah. No. Mm. And then the puris arrived with their slew of accompaniments and it was time to find another corner to tuck in. So there you have it, alu, chanas, chutneys, pickles and piping hot puris straight from the vat. Hmm, it's a little bit gritty from the whole meal, mm -hmm. I love that. Now what if I bought some, something like this to Ireland, how well do you think it would do? Well you see, Irish people are exper experimenting a lot more right. with different cuisines, different yeah. flavors. Um, something like this, would this would be more probably to our taste, I think. But you set up a little food truck, Henna. Is that selling this? Yeah, I could make millions. Right? Yeah, I think you can make millions. <laughs> but see, we uh, make hundreds we... anyway. <laughs> <laughs> hundreds. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right. We make um, <laughs> we make puri at the Goofy School, but it oh, never yeah. it's never quite like this. I think it's because most places are a little more responsible about the amount of oil they use. Or not, we had barely finished this course when out came the next. Oh, wow! Yes, lassi, thick and creamy and covered with pistachios and that other lassi staple. I've never had lassi like this. this is, oh my goodness, yeah! That is thick, pure cream. Wow! Good. It's, it tastes like um, it tastes fatty. And it's not bad though. Yep. That's delicious. It's a hit. Score one for the side and then prepare for another. The bhaturas, treat enough for those of us who are used to them. For a first timer, well, let's just say you probably won't be surprised at her reaction. That's amazing. I wish you could have some of this because it's the green mango that's been pickled. Oh wow. It's been pickled. I'll try that. Salted. Mmm, try. It. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's so surprising. Too hot for you? It's vinegary, yeah. no. Salty, vinegary, hot, yeah. but it's green mango. It's because it's really refreshing and cleansing yeah. and then oh, I love it. That's my favorite. Yeah. And what's this sauce? Is this? This is. It's a. It'll be a mint and coriander chutney. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm. If you sold jars of this mint and coriander chutney, that's how yeah. you could make your. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. It's amazing. Chili. I'm sure chili. Coriander, mint. 
We'll go into partnership. I have got this on tape and I intend to use it. <laughs> I'm holding you to it. And just to prevent second thoughts, not that there could be any. Could you serve the Batura, do you think, with something like Irish? Definitely. Yeah, yeah I mean, I probably would want to serve it with something more yeah. Indian because yeah. it just, yeah. you know, it just lends itself so well. Yeah. But yes, you know, it, it would be even good with like different kind of flavors like guacamole, tomato salsa, you know, as a kind of a, yeah, 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 as a yeah, dippy, yeah. lovely thing. Sour That's cream. actually a lovely idea. I have to say, the other thing that I'm phenomenally impressed with is how you, well you're holding up against um, not exactly optimum weather conditions. <laughs> you're managing better than I am. I'm a little ashamed. <laughs> If we were in Ireland, it would yeah. be raining now, right. like, perhaps. That's why we have our lovely yeah. green grass. Yeah. So I am actually thinking, yeah, make the most of the heat before yeah. I <laughs> go back home. Right, wow. but we're just thinking to send some of that over here. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay, now I think what we're going to do is, um, as far as I know, they have something very special. Have you had a jalebi yet? Jalebi? Jalebi. Jelly bean. <laughs> I, it's actually better if I don't explain it, I just let you see it. Okay. Okay, shall we? Right here. Is this, the, this is the jalebi? This is the jalebi. Oh, oh, that's how they make. Oh, is that how they make those yep, things? Yep, yep. Oh, so, wow. So they do this. Now it fries in such a way that it's actually sort of slightly hollow inside. So it's healthy. Oh yes, <laughs> for very, the bear. Very, very, very. <laughs> so it's deep fried in ghee, and then it's um, dunked in sugar syrup. That's sugar syrup. Mm hmm. There you go. Straight. From the deep fryer into yep. the syrup. syrup. Yep. You know, from one thing into another. Oh, wow. Huh? Oh, my goodness. On the grill? That's amazing. That's like taking a donut. I mean, once it comes out of the oil, putting it into syrup. And, yeah. But it's oh. crisp. Yeah. It's nicer. It's amazing. That is so naughty. Mm. You know? Isn't it? Is another one for the food truck? What do you say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your food truck is lending itself very well to. This is the kind of thing that people, if they've been out at the pub, as they often do right. in Ireland, on their way home from the pub. Right. There's, um, what was the, the last bread? The chola batura. The chola batura. Yep. And the chickpea. Okay. And then this. Mm -hmm. And then you collapse. <laughs> We'll save that for later. For now, with plans afoot, it was time to start walking it all off. But needless to say, it took only minutes for us to be derailed by another tempting sight. This what is a it looks fruit. Like it's a jamun. Yes, Rachel had spotted a mound of jamuns and was curious to figure out what they were. So a sprinkle of black salt and then moment of truth. Oh! Oh! Oh, funny with the sauce. I'm trying to think what it's, what it's like, but... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't imagine myself getting really into yeah. this. Yep. I like it more with the salt, actually. Isn't and it? Can I get you some more? Sprinkles. Some more salt. Okay, safest to say that she's intrigued, if not entirely a fan. But then she decided to give her son Joshua a sample. I'm going to go out on the limb and say he won't be coming back for more. I will say my goodness, she's game, but then again, I wouldn't have expected anything less. I'm I'm always looking for local food. Right. Actually, if it's if it's food you're talking yeah. about, it's always it's yeah. always local. Some people are being very kind. If I go to their country, they'll say, "Oh, we must show you there's a new whatever fancy fancy right. restaurant." And while obviously that's lovely and I appreciate that and, and the chefs are fantastic, I actually normally say, "No, no, I want." what's really what's really local okay. because then you get to learn more about the place I agree. and you get to actually really see what's happening and actually we have arrived at the perfect place for it see that crowd the good people at Natraj Dahi Bhalla Kona had been plying their trade for decades with just two things on offer alu tikkis which perhaps will give a miss given our earlier excesses and then the Dahi Bhallas covered in curd and lashings of tamarind wow amazing flavor oh I like that yeah I love 
the sweet sour flavor. Oh, is this the, the pancake underneath? Yeah. I wasn't expecting to like it. Yeah, I, I, I was, it, it doesn't look promising, I know. No. Which was, I, it was I, not looking promising at all. I really want to try and store all these flavors <laughs> yeah. in my brain. Well, it's a cooler it couldn't hope to combat the temperatures, but still the break we needed before taking on another Chandani Chowk institution. If you've been paying attention, you've probably figured out that next up it's time to explore the many treats of the gritty, grotty, but always, let's say, atmospheric Parathe Wali Gali. Yes, a lane that's devoted to assorted vendors all specializing in deep fried versions of everyone's favorite flatbread. Which one should we have? Which one would you like? Uh, mixed vegetables, banana, cashew nut, tomato, mint, lemon. We thought, no, 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 let's go classic. Good desi wala. The good desi wala is fried with green chili. Green okay. chili? Yeah. And what about the gobi? We thought gobi. Gobi is good one. What's gobi? Okay. Oh, and, cauliflower. And, why, and what I suggest is banana for you. All right. Okay. 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 All right. In we go and take our seats in the oldest and most famous of paratha places. Then there they are, green chilli, gobi and as promised banana along with unsurprisingly a slew of accompaniment. Chutney upon chutney, pickle upon pickle. Wow, that's good. Is it? Yeah, I like that heat. This is with tamarind. This is, um, I would imagine, mm. and banana for some reason. I'm not quite sure. There seems to be a great love of banana here. Yeah, yeah, he likes his bananas. <laughs> he, he was insisting we had the banana, wasn't he? Mmm, lovely. No? What's cauliflower again? Gobi. Gobi, Gobi. You know, there's often a sense that, you know, we often, and I'm sure it exists in Ireland as well, right? That to some degree we take our own food, our own techniques for granted. Have you been impressed with some of this, like the techniques that must go into this at all? Or? Yeah, it's extraordinary. I mean, I, it's, and they probably haven't changed in decades and decades. Um, but that's fantastic. It's not being lost so quickly here as it is in so, so many other countries. Yeah, yeah, and these, these guys, I mean, they've probably been around, like they said, this is five generations, so it's been going back easily a hundred years. Such a good experience. <laughs> I'm delighted, I'm loving it. Oh, you may not say that for long. We are about to try the banana paratha. He was determined. He was determined. We were going to have this, wasn't he? Oh, what do you say? Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, good luck. Oh, my goodness. Banana in coconut? Is it coconut? Maybe it's condensed milk. <laughs> or cream. Okay. I'm not sure it's worth the height. No. But it's good. It does remind me of banana fritters actually yeah. I had when I was little. The savory ones are really <laughs> exciting me. I have to say I agree. Now, what do you say? Well, well, four to five, can I offer you some more or are we done? <laughs> I'm full. All right. Okay, so I think it's the perfect time actually for us to take a break because on the other side, we've got a few more treats coming up as well. Okay, so <laughs> prepare to get your hands even greasier. Let me put it really? that way. Yep. Okay. Woo.